next up we have the topic of vitiligo. Um, I'm pretty sure you've seen this before, in which like the 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 color of the skin is like has the, has botches of no color, or a different color. Um, we talked about basal uh, about melanoma, in which there's cancer in the pigment producing cells. This one, um, it is more of malfunction or damage to those cells, and so they don't provide the pigment necessary. Uh, next slide. And I'm pretty sure you've seen such examples. Like in the picture, you can see the botches with no color uh, near, near her mouth. Vitiligo is a disease that causes loss of skin color and, and patches. This condition can affect the skin in any part of the body, and it can also affect hair and the inside of the mouth. Normally, the color hair um, and skin is determined by melanin. Vitiligo occurs when cells that produce melanin die or stop functioning. So in your skin, you have melanin uh, pigments producing cells that give the, off the color of your skin and hair. And when you have vitiligo, these cells don't function properly. And the cells that, and then the, the botches uh, above them have no color. And it turns out being weird. It's not life-threatening or contagious. Just that it can be stressful and make you feel bad about yourself. So it's a, um, the, the complications are more mental than actually damaging. Uh, next slide. Uh, what, what happens when you have vitiligo? Um, you have patchy loss of skin color, which usually appears first in the hand, face, and areas around body openings and the gen genitals. Premature whitening or gray of the hair on your scalp, eyelashes, eyebrows, or beard. You become, you have white hair earlier. Um, losses of, loss of color in the tissue that, that lies the inside of your mouth, nose, not no mouth and nose. So basically, you just there's some botches with no color, and your your hair your hair starts losing its color early and becomes gray. Next, where does it appear? Um, vitiligo can start at any age, but usually uh, appears before age of thirty. Um, where does where does the patches occur? Um, nearly all skin surfaces with this type called universal vitiligo. The discoloration affects nearly all skin surfaces. Um, many parts of your body with this common type called generalized vitiligo. The discolored patches often progress similarly on correspondent body parts, symmetrical. Uh, symmetri symmetrical means like th the same botch on your right side is on the same batch, batch as your left side, let's say right shoulder, left shoulder, for example. Only one side of the body, this is called segmental vitiligo, and it tends to occur at younger age. Uh, one or few areas of your body, this is called uh, localized vitiligo. The face and hand with this type called acrofacial vitiligo, the affected skin is on the face and hands around body openings such as eyes, nose, and ears. Next slide. Causes. Um, so what causes vitiligo to occur? Um, as we said, when the pigment producing cells, they are called melanocytes, die or stop producing melanin. The pigments that gives your skin, hair, and eyes color. The involved patches of skin become lighter or whiter. It is unclear exactly what causes the pigment cells to fall or die. It may be related to some se several things, such as a disorder of the immune system, um, in which your immune system attacks, like accidentally, um, declares that these these um, melanin producing cells are dangerous and starts killing them and that may cause vitiligo um, and then you lose skin, skin color, um, family history, uh, it's, it could be a hereditary um, disease, a trigger event such as stress, severe sunburn or skin trauma such as contact with a chemical. Uh, maybe it's, it's a chemical that burns, it burns your skin or something and then you lose the color of your skin. So these are such things that may cause uh, vitiligo, but no one is 100% sure of this. 
people with vertigo may be at increased risk of social or psychological distress, sunburn, eye problems, and hearing loss. The choice of treatment depends on your age, how much skin is involved and where, how quickly the disease is progressing, and how it's affecting your life. Medications and light-based therapy are available to help restore skin color or even skin tone. Results vary and are unpredictable. And some treatments have serious side effects, so a doctor might suggest that you first try changing the appearance of your skin by applying a self-tanning product or makeup. If you and your doctor decide to treat your condition with a drug, surgery, or therapy, the process may take many months to judge its effectiveness, and you may have to try more than one approach or a combination of approaches before you find the treatment that works best for you. Even if treatment is successful for a while, the results may not last uh, or new patches may appear. Your doctor might recommend a medication applied to the skin or maintenance, uh, maintenance therapy to help prevent relapse. No drug can stop the process of vitiligo, the loss of pigment cells. Uh, but some drugs used alone in combination or with light therapy can help restore some skin tone. Drugs that control inflammation, applying a corticosteroid cream uh, to affect the skin might uh, return color. This is most effective uh, when vitiligo is still in its early stages. This type of cream is effective and easy to use, but you might not see changes in your skin's color for several months. Possible side effects include skin thinning or the appearance of streaks or lines on your skin. Medications that affect the immune system. Calcineuron inhi inhibitor ointments such as tacrolimus or pimocrylimus. Pim might be effective for people with small areas of deep pigmentation, especially on the face and neck. Therapies, there is light therapy. Phototherapy with narrow band ultraviolet B has been shown to stop or slow the progression of active vitiligo. It might be more effective when used with corticosteroids or calcium neuron inhibitors. You'll need surgery two and three times a week. It could take one to three months before you notice any change and it could take six months to or, or, lo or longer to get the full effect. Combining sorolin and light therapy, this treatment combines a plant-derived substance called sorolin with light therapy to return color to, to the light uh, patches. After you take uh, sorolin by mouth or apply it uh, to the affected skin, you're supposed to ultraviolet A light. Removing the remaining color, depigmentation. This therapy may be an option of your vitiligo is widespread and other treatments haven't worked. A depigmentation agent is applied to unaffected areas of skin. This gradually lightens the skin so that it blends with the discolor. 